everybody, how's it going? In today's video, we'll take a stab at another exclusive series. Uh, this time around, it's gonna be Aston Martin Valkyrie. All right, so we actually had 40% discount offer on this car last week, so um, hopefully, if you were able to afford it, uh, then uh, hopefully you took advantage of it because 40% uh, is a pretty good deal. And uh, yes, because in order to unlock this series, right, it will normally cost you some 1865 gold. It's one of the most expensive cars in the game. Um, yeah, but it is one of the best cars in the game. So, you know, and uh, the bonus series the cars featured in is... Uh, kind of lackluster it doesn't I mean it's a fairly short series um, you know it's a single car series just like this exclusive series um, but uh, no like extended races in that one however we will come across some uh, lengthier higher paying races in this exclusive series so um, I mean total reward wise 250 gold doesn't come anywhere near what you have to invest. Even with a 40% discount, you are, you know, paying probably like close to a thousand gold to unlock this uh, exclusive series. Um, so yeah, but anywho, uh, could be good for farming. So something to consider. And I mean, the handling of this car is just, you know, second to none. So. All right, and I've already posted actually the exclusive, uh, the overview for this exclusive series. What types of events that you can expect? You know, what types of rewards? How much it actually would cost under normal circumstances? All right, so first ever hypercar brings top level track performance to the streets. Right. All right, so in this one, we'll actually make some progress. And by progress, I mean this series, as I mentioned in my overview video, we have lots of autocrosses uh, and lots of speed snaps, like short events, right? So we're going to blitz through them. So let's start with autocross first, which we can find the first one in tier two at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix. So yeah, there are a total of seven autocrosses and eight speed snaps. So by those two completing those short events alone, you are done with the 15 events, which means uh, that's 25% complete, you know, without uh, needing to service for the most part. Anyway, uh, let's do some racing. Yeah, focus on the event. A little late on the brakes, I guess. Um, but still, I mean, I was actually very late on the brakes. Um, uh, I am really trying to push this guy and see how much I can get away with, you know what I mean? And <laughs> I was trying to see if I can send this sideways through, but uh, just a little narrow section of the circuit, I suppose. More like slamming right into the wall. But that's a okay. All right. So out of fifty-four events available in this exclusive series, you know, spanning some twenty tiers, that is the gold trophy number one. And yes, I do have this Valkyrie VIP'd for that instant service as well, which you know is nice for cars that you enjoy driving. You know, so you're not. Uh, you don't have to wait when the car needs service, you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on. Uh, tier 4 is the next instance of autocross. This one as Silverstone International. Alright. And the target time to beat here is going to be 35 seconds and change. Alright. And here we go. Where are we? This is like tail end of the circuit, isn't it? I probably could have gone left hill there flat out. 
Oh yeah, we're taking this flat out for sure. All right. There we go. 30 seconds and change. Another gold trophy. All right, and one TSM friend beaten. All right. All right, so that is the gold trophy number two. Uh, second of the seven autocrosses available for this exclusive series. All right, let's continue on. Autocross number three will find in tier seven at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. A little bit longer one, I want to say. Um, 28 seconds. Yeah. I suppose it's not too bad. All right. Off we go. Beautiful handling on this guy. Especially if you um, break a little bit early coming into these corners. <laughs> Could have drifted through the the finish line there. Tail first, right? All right. Continuing on. So yeah, in this video, since I'm tackling the the short events only. Um, there won't be any long uh, cup races or endurance races in this video, uh, but uh, I will be making some significant progress. So, all right, so that was what, number three, right? So next one, tier nine at Spa. Here we go. And 26 seconds and change, just under 27 seconds. All right. going flat out but uh, no braking until we come down to Brussels nice that's a that's a fun one autocross at spa they definitely picked the, the, the fun section of the circuit for that one all right so that is gold trophy, what, number four now? All right. Which brings us to how many percent complete so far? 7%, all right. So up next, tier 12, um, autocross at Suzuka Grand Prix. So let's see, where does this one take place? Oh, I know. We've done this with the uh, Formula One cars quite a bit. So, sort of the end of the S's, right? And then right after Hairpin is where this one ends. So yeah, coming out of the S's. Or, I guess heading into the S's. Or starting in the, somewhere in the middle of the S's. <laughs> There's some S's involved in here. And could we... Nope, not quite gonna take that flat out. Since, uh... It, it might hold, but just in case if it doesn't, that's a terrible place to fly out of the circuit. You know, so... 
it'll take a long time to recover. Since there's no, you know, barrier nearby. So, all right. And at the end of the day, it wasn't necessary to push that hard. So, all right, 31 seconds and change. A couple of seconds to spare on that one. All right. Trophy number, what, five? All right, next one. Tier 14 at Melbourne. All right. And uh, this one ends right before the finish line, right? So 24 seconds and change is the target to beat. So, all right, here we go. I could have gone a little bit fast and, oh, I think you should be able to take that flat out. I just, um, didn't do it very well. <laughs> All right. Another gold trophy. 22 seconds and change. Once again, a couple of seconds to spare. All right. Gold trophy number six, right? Tier 14. And then last autocross you'll find in tier 18. This one taking place at Daytona Motorcycle Course. And of course, all Daytona uh, variety events are a little bit on a longer side. Yeah, about 38 seconds. So, and uh, where are we starting for this one? Before the first corner, uh, not first corner, but uh, starting, I guess, uh, where um, motorcycle course takes the right as opposed to the road course taking left. That split, right, is where it takes place. And then this one ends uh, after you exit, after the outer rim the chicane, right? So it's a decent amount of track that we're covering here. Thirty-seven. Ooh, that one came out to be much closer. All right, within a second. All right. Of course, uh, Daytona is tough circuit. At least I have a terrible time here. All right, so that will do it for all seven autocrosses. And we are not even halfway through the service bars. And uh, up next, um, sure, let's do drag race. There are four of them. Very first one, tier one, right? This one at Dubai Grand Prix. So four drag races plus seven autocrosses brings us to 11 events complete. And then uh, there are, as I said, eight speed snaps. So, you know, it's like 19 events complete there, you know, so uh, yeah, that's you, that's taking you pretty deep into the series with just uh, without needing to service. I'm anticipating here, and then we go. All right, and the uh, shifting timing, relatively predictable. No like sudden shifting that you have to deal with between certain. Uh, speeds that's nice all right 
the Dubai, the twilight uh, backdrop, always very, very dramatic. Alright. Yeah, even the drag race with this car is uh, a bit more predictable. Right. Telling you, all around. Just wonderful handling. A lot of fun. All right. Two, one, then go. Right, and that will do it for the drag race number one. And they were all against TSM. I know, it's as though I've done this before. No, I haven't. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> used to be that was the case back in the day, but uh, that hasn't been the case, oh boy, for a long time now. All right, so that is Skull Trophy number eight, drag race number one. All right, number two drag race, we find it in tier seven, taking place at Monza. And once again, TSM, all right. I feel like I'm racing against the same group of TSMs though. We've definitely seen our Korean friend before. Alright. Three, two, one. Quick launch, right? Yep. Is this longer drag race strip than the Dubai? I think it might be. Does it make a difference? Eh, certainly not significant enough to make a difference, I don't think. Alright, and this one is a little bit more delayed start. Right. Right. So two down, one more to go for winning this drag race uh, at Monza. Three, two, one, another delayed launch, right. There we go. Yep, early shift, huh? Alright. And that is good enough for the drag race number two. Alright. Honestly, I think four drag races is just too many for really any exclusive series. Why waste? Um, you know, the race slot on more or less the same thing that you have to repeat, repeat, you know what I mean? Because the uh, circuit eh, really does not make that big of a difference, I don't think. Anyway, we still got two more to go. Next one, tier 11, this one taking place at Nürburgring Grand Prix. All right, how much longer is this going to take? Uh, I don't know. And once again, the, at this point, kind of a familiar, familiar faces, right? We got our Korean opponent. Okay. And is this gonna be kind of a, oh, no, that's an early launch. 
So race number seven is if you do it without a break, that's gonna be a early launch. All right, and then what's the next one gonna be? If you want to make it, you know, more predictable, obviously, just after winning one, quit and come back, uh, relaunch the game, and then the timer is reset, you know, and back to a little bit longer delayed launch. All right. All right, so two down, one more opponent to go, and we got a fresh opponent, a new one. At least I don't recognize the car. Not from the previous drag race, certainly. All right, two, one, early, late, no, medium, maybe. That is good enough for... What are we up to? Um, gold trophy number 10? Is that right? So... We're... Maybe like one-fifth way there. Alright. And then we got one more drag race to complete. Uh... That'll be in tier 13. All right, yeah, look at that. We're 18% through. So this is the final drag race taking place at Red Bull Ring. Grand Prix, of course. Although, I mean, the part of the circuit where we do this is the main uh, pit straight. So, you know, this is a part of this circuit that is shared between the national circuit and Grand Prix circuit. So for, for all intense purposes, uh, in intended purposes, it could be just a national circuit, but Grand Prix circuit just sounds more grand. <laughs> All right, I have no idea when we're launching for this one. That was a very delayed launch. And this should be a little bit shorter. Nope. <laughs> that felt shorter. That might be because uh, I downshifted a little too early. And why am I downshifting? I, uh, no reason. Just for the fun of it. Alright. And then... That's kind of a medium launch. Yeah, at this point... Um, I don't know if there's any point in trying to keep track. Uh, but yeah, to me, they, I mean, the distance-wise, they all feel about the same. You know, Dubai, Monza, um, what was the last one? I, I don't even remember. That's what I mean. They all blend, oh, Nürburgring, right. They all kind of blend together. <laughs> the usual suspects. And we will wrap it up with... Another victory. There we go. So that concludes all the um, autocrosses and drag races. Right. Which brings us to... Oh, pretty close to the 25% completion, doesn't it? And just over halfway. Right. But anywho. Um, yeah, 20% complete. That's good for starting off a new exclusive series, I think. Um, so in the next video, uh, maybe I'll run through all the speed snaps and maybe some other events. Since there are eight speed snaps. Uh, <laughs> But for now, 
we are 20% in already. So, all right. Thanks for sticking around for my uh, initial run through of the Valkyrie exclusive series. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for um, more videos. All right. Take care.